Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. That's I'm Elliot Morgan. Let's go. His name is Elon Musk. Sure, that name sounds like some sort of men's designer cologne, but his name is far more impressive than that. Uh, more impressive than having a designer cologne name? No such thing. Uh, I'm sure at some point there will be a sensual cologne adorned with that name, because the name Elon Musk belongs to a real-life billionaire genius. You know, the co-creator of PayPal, founder of Tesla Motorsports, and CEO of SpaceX, the first private company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station. And... <laughs> My future, future husband. God, this guy is awesome, okay? He sounds like a real life Robert Downey Jr. You, you mean Tony Stark? Sure, yeah, whatever. Well, the billionaire playboy philanthropist was actually kind of the inspiration behind the characterization of Tony Stark, at least Jon Favreau's version. And probably because he doesn't hesitate to dream big, and I mean friggin' huge. He wants to put people on Mars. We just got there, Lee. Okay. I know, right. I know. Within the next 15 years, he wants to put people on Mars. And look, if I believe in anyone to do it, it's this guy. The Curiosity just got there safe and sound, and there's been a lot of chitter chatter about putting people up on Mars. Heck yes. I mean, NASA already unveiled a heavy lift rocket that could be how humans get to the red planet. And there's that whole Mars One project that wants to send people on one-way trips starting in 2020. One-way trips. Yeah. Meaning they're not gonna come back. They're gonna die there. Yeah. Yeah, on yeah. Mars. That's sad. But Elon Musk is the dude that seems to want this the most. He talks about it all the time. And he thinks SpaceX can do it, and soon. He told Dateline, I'm confident at this point that it can be done. I think we'll be able to send probably the first people to Mars in roughly 12 to 15 years. That's my estimate. But that's crazy. 12 to 15 years? Who does this guy think he is? Uh, uh, all right, right. Billionaire, mastermind, CEO of SpaceX. But are we ready for that? Okay. I mean, think of the ship we need, the time it takes, the whole 8,000 miles per hour for eight months long thing. Oh, and if you don't go crazy first, well, now you're on a planet that's barren and dangerous, and your only friend is the curiosity. Uh. Elon Musk, again, killer name, says he understands the danger but is confident in his statement. So much so that despite all of its danger, he might be the first one to go to the red planet. <laughs> of course he would. Classic billionaire. Mm -hmm. And he says he wants to make travel to Mars not only happen, but he wants to make it affordable for the everyday human. Or, you know, the, the everyday human that has half a million dollars to travel to dangerous Mars. Hey, more power to you, cocky billionaire. I mean, after all, you did just get $440 million from NASA, so you can continue to put people in space. Why not try and send them to Mars? Please. I think I want to be a billionaire. Oh, okay. I would have like a pool, but not just any pool, one with a slide oh. and a toy store and a smoothie store and other types of stores. I a really stores. love stores. So guys, if you could go to Mars, would you and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, you can like, you can subscribe, and you can send us in photos of you with our source fed gear. And we can take them and put them on our wall and our ceiling and stuff. And we have this annotation with five daily stories. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Man, I like How a, we go? it's like a clothing store, okay. but like a skinny guy store. Again, it's, stores. You know, it's a various lot of stores, types of stores buddy. that sell food. They have a word for that. It's called restaurant.